Mary Magdalene, a prominent figure in the New Testament, has been historically associated with the perception of being a repentant sinner, often depicted as a redeemed woman whose life underwent a transformation through her encounter with Jesus Christ. However, a nuanced examination of biblical texts and historical context challenges this characterization. In this exploration, we delve into the reasons why Mary Magdalene may not have been the sinful woman she is sometimes portrayed to be. The biblical accounts that mention Mary Magdalene do not explicitly identify her as a sinner or a prostitute. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 8, verses 1 through 3, Mary Magdalene is mentioned as someone from whom Jesus had cast out seven demons. While the nature of these demons is not detailed, the emphasis is on her deliverance and the subsequent gratitude and dedication she shows to Jesus. The conflation of Mary Magdalene with the unnamed sinful woman in Luke chapter 7, verses 36 through 50, has contributed to the misconception. In this passage, an anonymous woman, identified as a sinner, anoints Jesus' feet with ointment and wipes them with her hair. The narrative does not specify the woman's identity, yet Mary Magdalene has often been erroneously associated with this unnamed figure. The Gospel of John chapter 8 records an incident involving an adulterous woman, but again Mary Magdalene is not explicitly mentioned in this context. It is crucial to separate these distinct biblical accounts and refrain from ascribing actions or attributes to Mary Magdalene that are not explicitly stated in the text. Furthermore, the historical context sheds light on the societal norms of the time. Mary Magdalene's close association with Jesus, her presence at significant events, and her role as a witness to the resurrection might have contributed to misconceptions about her character. The Gospel of Mark chapter 16 highlights Mary Magdalene's pivotal role as the first witness to Jesus' resurrection. Her prominence in this critical moment underscores her importance in the early Christian narrative. If Mary Magdalene were indeed a notorious sinner, it raises questions about why she would be chosen to witness such a foundational event in Christianity. Scholars and theologians have, over the years, reevaluated Mary Magdalene's characterization. Pope Gregory I, in the 6th century, delivered a homily in which he conflated Mary Magdalene with the unnamed sinful woman, contributing to the enduring misconception. However, in recent times, the Catholic Church has acknowledged the error and clarified that there is no biblical basis for identifying Mary Magdalene as a repentant prostitute. The depiction of Mary Magdalene as a sinful woman is a misinterpretation rooted in historical misunderstandings and conflation with other biblical figures. A careful examination of the relevant scriptures and an understanding of the social context of the time challenge the notion that Mary Magdalene was a sinner. Instead, her significance lies in her unwavering commitment to Jesus her pivotal role in the resurrection narrative, and her enduring legacy as a key figure in early Christianity. Please join me in reciting the miracle prayer to St. Mary Magdalene. O glorious St. Magdalene, model of penitence, obtain for me the grace of perseverance in the practices of self-denial according to the spirit of my vows. Pray to God for me that I may appear before Jesus our Lord and Master at the moment of my death, with my lamp filled with the oil of faith and hope, and burning with the pure flame of charity, and thus merit to be received with thee into his eternal kingdom. Amen.